Hey guys, welcome back to the layout. I want to do a quick uh, update for you guys. I did one, I think, last week actually, or maybe the week before. But uh, I wanted to show you guys what we're working with here. So, the swamp scene, I just actually got done pouring the water so I take the air bubbles out. But um, I wanted to kind of just show you guys how I do it. So, first thing I did was I tried that AKA Innovative uh, Mud, the swamp material. So, I put that as the first coat down. Uh, this is the first coat of water. I gotta add more coming up. Um, so I'll do one more layer probably, just to cover up this area. So it looks a little um, a little more pond-like. Um, then what I did was, if you see to the right there, I used some JTT scenery cattails uh, here and here. And I still gotta clean up the uh, little bit of excess, but then I do the uh, Scenic Express Super Leaf. And this is medium green. Right there is the product number. Um, and what I do is, once this is white, this is wet, I put this down, it looks just like algae growing underneath the water. So once I add the other, the next coat, um, it'll really make it kind of shine. So, and it'll look just like, a, I can't really describe it as the algae, but it looks like uh, the lily pads kind of float underneath the water. So, really coming out of my jersey here at the water. Um, but, Anyway, guys, that's just something I want to show you there. Um, and the rest of the scene's coming together pretty good. So I ordered more static grass. Uh, that should be coming in this week. I'm working on the trees today, actually, uh, Sunday the 12th. So hopefully get that, and I got to work on the roads today a little bit. I weathered up the bridge. I just removed it for the time being until I uh, finish the water, and then I'm going to put that back in. But weathered it up pretty good. Uh, I was using some chalks and, you know, kind of made it look a little beaten down, so... That's the idea. And then over here, we're gonna plant the trees. I'm gonna work on the road today as well. I gotta run the staples, grab some uh, artist pens for the striping. Uh, I'll probably put the two yellow and then the white on the outside. I might actually have some decal sets left, I'm not entirely sure, but I gotta still fade the road and then uh, put those down and then plant the trees. So the idea is you'll really only be able to see uh, from right here, you know, right, right in this little strip right there where the retaining walls are. So that's the idea. I gotta get my blowtorch too and take those air bubbles out. Um, just gotta find the actual the better one. But everything else is coming along. Um, obviously you can see the, uh, the dispatcher's office and some other details to get the cars up here. Um, this is all gonna be, like I said, everything you see where it's green is gonna be static grass. Uh, this area will be kind of crazy with it overgrown a lot. But I feel like that'll add a lot of separation from the lines. So, and then over here, so I gotta add more static grass. I finish up the sanding tower. So I put that in. I'm working on telephone poles as well. I gotta, I gotta stain them. Then over here, uh, this would be the shop tracks for the engine house. Obviously, I didn't have the room to model it, so I decided to abandon it. But I'll do static grass and everything else there. And then we got the Jordan spreader. Some static grass tufts I put everywhere. Uh, Weather the track for the engine area over here so i gotta do all my other detailing um this will obviously a little green like i said it'll be static grass the pit i gotta do again i got 12 millimeters so that'll be really tall grass i'm gonna put that in and uh and some other details so it's tie plates and everything else in the gray crossing box and the road everything else and i still gotta finish up weathering the track you can see i see the rust marks this little section right here probably end up doing that today at some point once i get slowed down with something and then I still gotta finish up wheeling the leaves back there. So, plenty to do, um, but we're getting there, slow progress. And then ideally, once I get this side of everything done, I still gotta put a track in just for operation sessions. But I wanna get, uh, like I know everything works right, I gotta get everything cleaned up um, and the grass in. And then I just have to focus on the trees and getting the um, track back together. And then once I know that's done, I can leave, actually I can leave all the cars here, not to put them back on the rest of the layout. So. And then this time, this side I'm gonna really take my time with. I gotta still build up the, uh, the mound here. And then I ordered the bridge section. Um, probably about 25 feet scale wise, I think. So I'm gonna have one bridge that goes across here. Uh, and then over here I'm gonna have, I plan on having abutments left over. Uh, kind of somewhat of the real Newport. And then that would have been the other track that would have ran into the Indy terminal, I guess. I'm not entirely sure how that laid out, but that's the uh, that's my thinking on it. 
So, you know, it's an abandoned section of the bridge. Maybe they closed one side of the bridge, they opened up the other side still. Um, that would have been back in the other days of Newport, pre steam, I guess. So, and I still have downtown. I still got to work on that. And uh, I got to put the signal in here as well for this. So, tons to do. Um, but I'm not going to, like I said, I'm, not, I'm only going to go up as far as this road for right now. I want to get the rest of it because the rest of it's pretty easy. It's just static grass to put in trees and bushes and stuff. And then other than that, it's just going to be the uh, mundane of this is this is going to be the biggest thing on this side. Getting this in. So, but I want to take it section by section. So at the same time, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this area, kind of perfect that because it's almost done. Um, but I just have, like I said, I have to add the trees and a couple other little things. And then we're going to move to this section. Probably going to add like a front of a house there. In this area that's the driveway i'll put a mailbox and then uh and then kind of just put keep going i gotta finish the house in that corner um and then kind of keep going so then the next phase will just be doing static grass in here that's like i said that's all this is already easy enough in here i gotta add the farm scene i'm gonna kind of hide a lot out of trees and then uh, finish that so but ideally, I wanted to get this corner done, which it pretty much is. I just have to move from this corner to that section because I want to keep going in a progressive way. So this way, I only have to reach, once I get this section done, I only have to reach down to here on that against that wall and then keep going. And then, then I can actually order backdrops and put them in. So, Like I said before, I was going to plan on doing the backdrops for over here, but since I moved all the scenery around, I kind of defeated it. So. But we're slowly getting there. Um, and then the other thing I was looking at doing was the Rapido switch stands. Um, I'm looking at them, they're pretty prototypical to CP. I just don't know how I, how I like them yet. I looked at the detail kits. I'm thinking of ordering just like one, seeing it, because they come in like packages of 12, I think. So I'm gonna see if I can, see if I like that. I already have four of these other ones from Central Valley Hobbies, I think. So, and they look pretty good. I just can't really find them. So I need, I think 17 total, so. But anyway, that's it for uh, today's update. Um, I'll keep you guys posted. Hopefully, I'll get another one up by Christmas. Um, I do have a couple little things ordered, so maybe I'll show you guys that and uh, see what see what we get. So, all right, thanks for watching, guys.